months. French trade unions are warming up ahead of a national strike day on Thursday that they're hoping will bring the whole country to a standstill. On Tuesday, hundreds of people walked through the heart of Marseille carrying torches and posters to show their outright rejection of the government's reform of the pension system. The plan, unveiled a week ago, delays the minimum retirement age from 62 to 64 by 2030 and eliminates most of the current special regimes. Speaking in the National Assembly, France's Prime Minister insisted the country has no choice but to do it. The number of working people compared to the number of pensioners is falling. In 2005, there were two working people for every pensioner. Today, there are 1.7 and tomorrow 1.5. We must therefore restore the balance of our pension system. The left is totally opposed to the government's initiative, which was included in the programme on which President Emmanuel Macron was elected.